In this lecture, From Bill to Law, you will learn about the many steps involved in passing a law in Canada at the federal level. What is the relationship between a bill and a law? A bill is a written proposal for a law, introduced in Parliament, and if passed, becomes an act. So a bill is basically a proposed law. An act is a written law passed by Parliament. Another name for an act is a law. How does a bill become a law? There is a lengthy process in both the House of Commons and the Senate. This process has many different steps to make sure that the law is in compliance with the Constitution and the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. If the process was too short, laws could be made too easily, which would lead to abuses of power. This entire process is the result of past British monarchs abusing their power and making bad laws. Basically, a proposed law, a bill, needs to be introduced in either the House of Commons or the Senate. In either case, the bill has to be approved by the House of Commons and the Senate. The final step is the approval by the Governor General. After this, the bill becomes a law. The first step in a bill becoming a law is the pre-parliamentary stage. An idea is proposed by a cabinet minister, private member, or other source. Cabinet will then approve the idea. Civil servants investigate the issue and lawyers help to draft the bill. Cabinet and caucus then approve the bill before it is introduced into the House of Commons. The second stage is called the first reading. The bill is introduced into the House of Commons. Each member of parliament receives a copy of the bill. No vote takes place at this time. After this, opposition parties begin to discuss what their positions on the bill will be. Next, we have the second reading. Members of Parliament debate the bill in the House of Commons. Following the debate, a vote is taken. If passed, the bill is approved in principle. Following the second reading, the bill enters the committee stage. A legislative committee involving members of Parliament from each party is set up to debate the bill in depth. Public input is heard. Amendments are proposed as long as they do not alter the core of the bill. An amendment is a small change or add-on to the bill. Next, we have the reporting stage. The committee reports to the House of Commons the amendments that were proposed to the bill. Each particular amendment is voted on and if passed, are added to the principle of the bill. The third reading. The bill with all its amendments is read and a final vote is held. This brings an end to the legislative process in the House of Commons. If the bill is passed, it moves on to the Senate. The Senate, also known as the Chamber of Sober Second Thought, receives the bill after it has been passed in the House of Commons. The same procedures are held in the Senate. However, bills tend to move more quickly through the Senate. This is the result of senators being appointed and not democratically elected. Throughout Canadian history, there has been much debate on Senate reform. The final step in a bill becoming a law is called royal assent. The Governor General recognizes the bill as law. The bill officially becomes a law after proclamation. By tradition, the Governor General always approves the law. There are several different types of bills. Government bills are introduced by the governing party. They can be divided into two additional categories, public bills and private bills. Public bills have a large impact on all Canadians, whereas private bills deal with private individuals and corporations. In addition, there is something called a private member's bill. This is a bill which is introduced by an individual MP without the support of the government or a political party. 